Hey, Meg. Uh, hi, Connie. I can't fit all my books in my locker. Can I put the rest of them on your ginormous ass? <laughs> hey, Connie. Hi, Peter Griffin, Meg's father. Say, uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, you see that fire extinguisher there? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes you here, ma'am. Well, I disagree. I think everybody likes me. No, we don't. We don't like your cooking, your stupid karaoke nights, and we especially don't like the way you hump that chair in the den. Well, Rupert seems to like my humping. What did you say? Rupert. Humped him for two hours yesterday. He just laid there and took it. Did he? Yeah, and now every time you're sleeping with him, he's going to be thinking of me. It's perfect! Yes, this will really tell people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not all bad. I like having those Stelladoro breakfast cookies. Oh, I ate those. Sorry. Ah, oh, no problem, Brian. No problem at all. Hey, what do you say you and I do a little fishing? Hey, Boo-Boo, let's see what we got in this picnic basket. <laughs> Tell the other bears what you just saw. Get a rope. That's not a chewing rope. I know. It's a tying rope. <laughs> Come on, Brian, you better let go. I told you, this is mine! You're never gonna get it! Just give me the rope! Nobody has to get hurt, Brian! Only one person has to get hurt, Brian! All right, I warned you! My teeth! Oh! Oh, man, I'm real sorry about your mouth, Brian. Damn it, Peter, what were you thinking? This has to be the stupidest thing you've ever done. Has anyone seen the rest of my white wine? Sorry, Lois, I drank that. Oh, that's fine, Brian. Hey, what do you say you and me go for a walk in the woods? You know what, this is kind of nice. I thought you were going to do some kind of godfather murder on me. Oh, Brian, I don't watch mafia movies, but I did see Fargo. Huh? Peter, it's Quagmire's. Take it next door. Now, now, hold on, Lois. Now, this poses a very difficult ethical dilemma. Do I deliver the package to its rightful owner, or do I open it up and see if it contains He-Mans? Do not open that box. You know, Lois, physicists believe there are two alternate universes, one in which I don't open the box, and one in which I do. I'm not going to open the box. I'm going to open the box. Ah, oh, sweet, it's a whip! Peter, be careful with that thing. Remember, we're renting this house. That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We got him! Great work tricking him, Brian! Thanks. Well, you know, I credit my years as a writer. When I planned the con, I saw Quahog as a character. Okay, that's enough. Had a pebble in my shoe. Of course, I knew the whole thing was a scam. They probably did that crying, turning into laughing thing when I left. What a bunch of hacks. They're too stupid to notice I snuck into the kitchen and turned up the gas before I left. Chris should be lighting his cigar right about... Stewie, oh! help! It hurts! Reverse the pill! Let me die! Ooh, I wish I could, but the pills were in the house, so... Yeah. Stewie! Stewie! 
Stewie! Stewie! Huh? Big for that car. <gasps> Mr. Sheldon? Oh my god, I'm saved! Let's get out of here before Stewie gets back! Ah, ah! Oh, my legs! Now I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my life in a wheelchair! No, you're not. Stan, I need $50. They're selling a biopsy of Celine Dion's uterus on eBay. The hell kind of dog is it? I was gonna ask the same thing. Oh, uh, that's our alien Roger. He lives in our attic, but nobody can know. And don't tell anybody about our attic. Hello? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. I'm over here with Joe, and he's got a space alien. Hey, Griffins, just checking in. Oh, Holy God. crap! Stewie, you killed him. He's dead. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, what are we gonna do? Oh, poor Cleveland. It's all right, Lois. He's in heaven now.